Hi, I'm Ned Parks with Flashpoint, a business moment with a business leader from the greater Canton area, and we're broadcasting from the Office of Corporate and Community Services here at Kent State Start. <laughs> Our guest in this segment is Bob Shearer, CEO and President of Shearer's Foods, 770 employees in their 35th year. Bob, welcome to the show. Glad to have you. Thank you. Good to be here. One of the things that you have said, um, as I, I don't know if it's a tagline or a mantra or whatever you want to call it, is make high quality products with high quality associates. And when I read that, the first thing I thought of is what comes first, the chicken or the egg? So I guess I want to ask you, do high quality products instill um, pride in the employee or does the employee with pride make a high quality product or can we not tell the difference once we get there? Oh, you can tell the difference. Uh, we have uh, always been a real um, uh, quality has always been a real important part um, of our success, uh, but before you can, you know, make a quality product, I'm a firm believer that you have to have quality people mm -hmm. and people with a, a passion and an understanding of the business. And we try to um, make all of our people, um, first of all, we do not call, um, our, our employees are all associates. Um, so I think that, you know, um, that raises a level of, of respect um, that we have for each other. And uh, we have a, I have a little saying that I don't, if I can't sit down and eat a meal with someone, I don't want them working for me. And uh, so I'm a, I have always been, um, you know, the, the aspect of quality associates has always been my number one uh, ingredient for, um, making a, a good snack food product. And uh, we have, I think that's what makes our success. So much of what we do in our manufacturing process, anyone can do. There's really no big um, hidden trade secrets uh, in our business. And uh, so the people really are what make the difference. So they're the really your delineator between success and, or the competition or somebody yes. else or whatever. And, and that comes in customer service and quality of the product and showing up to work on time and innovation it's, and all those It's sorts everything. Of and we, we, um, we do a lot to, um, you know, you, you mentioned showing up to work. Uh, we do um, once a year at our awards dinner, uh, any of our associates who've had perfect attendance for, um, for that year get a chance to go into a raffle and the winner gets an extra week paid vacation and a cruise for two. Wow. And we've been doing that for about, uh, probably about eight or nine years now. And uh, every year we see the amount of perfect attendance uh, it increases. And we're, um, I think this year, um, for 2008 that just finished, we're right about 55% uh, 50, uh, of our associates didn't miss a day's work during the year. 55% mm -hmm. didn't miss a day's work. That's got to be somebody's record somewhere. Right? Yeah, I would, I would think, in, you know, in manufacturing, um, especially where you're, you know, you have a wide diversity of people with mm -hmm. interest and responsibility outside of the workplace so I think that's that's pretty good one of the things you said just a moment ago was uh, if you don't want anybody working for you that you can't sit down and have a meal with that says something to me about um, maybe this is the wrong word but intimacy or connectedness to understanding who your employees are yeah I like to know um, as much as I can about all of our associates you know about their family um, what they're doing you know what their problems are um, I'm a firm believer in the fact that um, people, uh, if they have problems outside of the workplace, I know they're going to bring them. It's only human nature to bring them to work. And so we try to do a lot of education um, on different uh, aspects outside of the workplace for all of our associates um, to try to help them with any of the problems that, that they may have, whether it be financial um, you know, or you know, personal relationships, sickness or whatever. Wow, so you really do get involved then, uh, or allow yourself to get involved to help them in, in ways that are appropriate and that you can't help them. Yeah, and uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's very rewarding when you, you know, I have, I have people that have worked for us uh, in, you know, 25, 30 years, and uh, you know, they started right out of high school. Um, you know, I can remember helping, you know, people buy their first house, the process, how you go through it. Um, how you get a loan from a bank, and uh, so we uh, financially we do uh, a lot of training and help outside. Um, we work closely with our bank, who in return does a lot of educational seminars for all of our people. 
And so you bring educational seminars in. You've partnered with your bank, one, one, of, one of your suppliers, if you will. Right, yeah. Um, to bring in educational seminars for your employees for their personal financial welfare. Yeah, that, I think, that, I think it must it, be a record somewhere. It's all a part of the whole picture. It, sure. You know, um, sure. What we can, you know, do with, you know, outside of all the communication things and that that we do, um, I think you have to touch it on a personal level. Sure. Well, as our um, flashpoint wrap up and takeaway today, what I heard was in, intimacy in the in the way of understanding who your employees are, somewhat like a family. Oh yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and and th that we get to the quality product through the quality uh, associate. Correct? That's right. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate you coming on Good. the show today. Thank you. Okay.